before watching this video, please make sure that you watch our tutorial video in inequalities and interval notation to better understand this tutorial video. Our topic is solving rational inequalities. Our root word is ratio. So we are dealing with our rational expression, rational inequalities. Let's try number one. 2x plus 10 over x plus 3 is greater than or equal to 1. Again, 2x plus 10 over x plus 3 is greater than or equal to 1. So our first step is our inequality must be equal to zero. So we need to transpose positive one. So 2x plus 10 over x plus 3 minus 1 is greater than or equal to zero. Okay? That is our first step. The inequality must be equal to zero. Now, Simplify the left side of our inequality. So we need to find the LCD. Our LCD is x plus 3. So just copy x plus 3. x plus 3 divided by x plus 3, that is 1. So 1 times 2x plus 10, so 2x plus 10. Next, we know that the denominator of 1 is 1. So, x plus 3 divided by 1, that is x plus 3, times negative 1. That is negative 1 times x plus 3. It's greater than or equal to 0. Okay. In this case, we need to simplify our numerator. So, copy 2x plus 10, negative 1 times x, this is negative x, negative 1 times positive 3, negative 3, over x plus 3, it's greater than or equal to 0. Simplify our numerator, this will become 2x. 10 minus 3 plus, okay, we need to combine 2x minus x, that will become x. 2x minus x is x. Next, 10 minus 3, that is positive 7, over x plus 3. It's greater than or equal to 0. Okay. That is now our simplest form. Second step. Find the zeros of our rational inequalities. So find the zeros. Zeros. So our zeros are x plus 7 just equate to 0, so x is equal to negative 7. Then x plus 3 is equal to 0, x is equal to negative 3. This is now our zeros, negative 7 and negative 3. Now, we need to locate in our number line plot in our number line. So let's say this is our 0, positive 1, positive 2, positive 3. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, 
negative 7, negative 8, negative 9. Locate negative 7. Negative 7 is here. Okay. And negative 3. Now let us check which of the following satisfies our rational inequality. So let us test the leftmost part of our number line. So you need to choose negative 8, negative 9, negative 10, negative 11, it's up to you. In this case, uh, let us try negative 10. You like negative 10 or negative 9? Okay. Let us choose negative 10. So, substitute our value of x to negative 10. If x is equal to negative 10. So, negative 10, just change to negative 10 or substitute, plus 7 over x is negative 10 plus 3. Greater than or equal to zero. Negative 10 plus 7, that is negative 3. Over negative 10 plus 3, negative 7. Greater than or equal to zero. Okay? Negative divided by negative, that, is, that will give us positive 3 over 7. Greater than or equal to zero. Three over seven. Is it greater than zero? Yes, it is. So if x is negative 10, this is true. Okay. Of course, if x is negative 9, that is also true. And if x is negative 8, that is also true. All the numbers on the left side of negative 7. Now, let us test the numbers between negative 7 and negative 3. So, pick one number, either negative 6, negative 5, or negative 4. Let us choose negative 4. If x is equal to negative 4, then substitute negative 4 plus 7 over Negative 4 plus 3, is it greater than or equal to 0? Now let us check. Negative 4 plus 3, that is positive 3. Over negative 4 plus 3, negative 1. Greater than or equal to 0. 3 divided by negative 1, that is negative 3. Greater than or equal to 0. Is negative 3 greater than 0? No. So this is false. Okay. So the following numbers are not included. Negative 6, negative 5, and negative 4. How about the numbers on the right side of negative 3? So let us check 0 because 0 is the easiest one. So, if x is equal to 0, so 0 plus 7 over 0 plus 3 greater than or equal to 0. 0 plus 7, 7 over 0 plus 3, 3 greater than or equal to 0. 7 over 3 is greater than 0? Yes. So, this is so we're going to get the left side of negative 7 because that will make our uh, inequality correct and the right side of negative 3. So to write our final answer, open to negative infinity and 7 that is close. Why close? Because that is equal to greater than or equal to union close to negative 3 going to positive infinity. 
This is now our final answer. Negative infinity to negative 7, close. Union, close to negative 3 to positive infinity. So that is on how to solve rational inequalities. Now, I want you to solve this problem. Three, three x minus fifteen over x less than or equal to five minus x. Okay, try to solve this. Three x minus fifteen over x is less than or equal to five minus x. To check your work, I will attach. The link in our description box in order for you to check your answers. Once again, thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV and please share this to your classmates. This is a great 11 lesson, but if you want to study in advance, so you can just check all throughout this video and check your work in our next video. Please share this to your classmates. Once again, thank you for watching.